so good. Mm. <clears throat> so good. Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Sunday, um, August 21st, and I need to do my meal prep. So if you guys saw yesterday's video where I did the grocery haul, I'll link it here. I mentioned in that video how I had just started intermittent fasting. Well, by the time I filmed that video, it was time for me to eat because like my eating window was closing. So I thought, I was like, wait a minute, I probably can't do the meal prep now because I won't be able to taste anything. So short version, I went with my mom for coffee this morning and now it is 1.15 and my feeding window started at 12.30. So I was like, oh crap, I better hurry up and do the meal prep before my eating window closed. I got new pots, new cookware. I wanted to share that with you guys. I did a poll on Instagram and I was just kind of like, Asking you guys, like, what do you recommend? Like, do you have any recommendations? Because we wanted to send some of our older stuff with our daughter back to college. And I have not bought, like, new cookware in forever and a day. And you guys have some really good recommendations. Like, for instance, the Cutco. I didn't even know Cutco made anything other than knives. But that was one recommendation. But my friend that recommended I went to the website and I was like, girl, like, I do not work in tech. Because <laughs> the price was like, whoa. But she did mention that when you buy those, like, you would never have to buy more cookware again. But because I couldn't, you know, that wasn't in the budget yet. Another recommendation was Ninja. And the reviews were really good on that one. So I had a ton of people recommend this particular brand. And this is what my husband and I decided to go with. I believe it's pronounced Kathlon. Kathlon. So yeah, I am going to go ahead and unbox this with you guys here. We've got a lid. There's another lid here. I like this because it looks like you can drain something. Like let's say for instance, if you were cooking, um, let's say pasta for example, looks like you can just kind of like drain it through the lid. That's pretty cool. Um, this set cost, it was like a, you know how sometimes Amazon has those limited deals? So this was a limited deal for $199. And I messaged one of my second moms who also recommended this. And I was like, is that a good price? And she was like, yeah. Um, same thing. Oh, I wonder if they're all like that. But it also has that strainer type. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and clean these up and wash them up. And then we're gonna start this week's low carb meal prep. I'm sorry guys, I do wanna show you, like I love that these have the measuring things in them. I think that is so neat. They're so cute. I am so happy with this purchase. And believe it or not, I am a 40 year old woman and I have never purchased a full pot set, except for like one time in college I bought like a $29.99 <laughs> set and then also one time my dad gifted me a set but this is the first time I bought a really what I would consider a really nice um, cookware set so I'm really happy and excited about that this is a stainless steel set and I'll be sure to link it down in the description so the first thing that we'll be cooking is the cracked chicken and I'm just gonna use some black pepper garlic blackened seasoning then a little bit of salt so with this cracked chicken you can make it in the crock pot like that's actually a really easy way to make it so what I'm gonna do today is put like half of the time in the in the air fryer for about 15 minutes. And then after that, I'm going to take it out and put it in the oven to finish cooking. chicken like basically prepared and I did put the bacon in the oven on 375 so I went ahead and I turned the stove on so I'm gonna go ahead and cook the ground turkey for the stuffed um, stuffed peppers that I mentioned in yesterday's video okay given that I'm using my new pan I went ahead and added some oil in the bottom so that it doesn't stick I mean at least not on the first day right and I chopped one red onion I'll put that in there and also a little bit of minced garlic. So 
So I mentioned that I didn't want to burn the bottom of this pan on the first day. Well, lies. So I started responding to YouTube comments and comments on my mom's Facebook post. And it's starting to burn. <laughs> It's okay, it's okay. Hopefully I'll be able to clean it. So I just added two pounds of the ground turkey and I'm gonna go ahead and add that ta um, taco sauce as well. All right, so the chicken has stopped. I'm gonna let the um, ground turkey cook a little bit longer. I actually went ahead and turned the, I actually went ahead and turned the heat down. I don't know if anyone else's team cook on high, but that's so me. Oh my goodness, you guys, I could have used this one. See, prime example of when you don't know what you have. I could have used this one instead, and then everything wouldn't have been flying all over the stove and the floor, but now I know, now I know. So let's go ahead and take the chicken breasts, the chicken thighs out, and remember they're not fully cooked, I'll show you. So they're not fully cooked, they're just cooked enough because I'm also going to put them back in the oven. So I'm going to transfer the chicken into this container here. Just remember that I forgot to put ranch, the ranch dressing inside of the cream cheese mix. So I'll have to show you guys that as well. So as I mentioned, I need to add this into this mix here. Okay, and if you guys can see, that is not spreading well. So I just remember I was supposed to add um, cream and egg oh, to the mix. That's what I was supposed to do. So do I just add it on top or do we just redo it? Uh, what do I do? Tell me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna. I'm gonna take it out and add the cream and the egg. I'm so sorry. So if you're making this recipe, listen, cream and egg. So I'm like wondering why is it not but that's why or you could just leave it like this if you really don't care and honestly i kind of don't care but because i'm uploading it i want to try to make it look a little bit better So it is now 2:19. So I started cooking around 1:30. So I haven't been cooking for an hour yet, and we have the stuffed peppers and the cracked chicken going in the oven for about 30 minutes. Um, so now I'm just gonna clean the kitchen up a little bit, and then after that, we will do some shrimp um, with asparagus and also some turkey burgers with Brussels sprouts. All right guys, so everything else is like almost done cooking. We're gonna move on to the next thing. So the first thing I'm gonna do, you guys see, this is how much ground turkey is left. And then here is like the bacon juice that was left. So I'm going to make some turkey burgers um, using some of that juice. And then inside of aluminum foil, I'm gonna put some turkey burgers with Brussels sprouts. I'll show you here in a second. So I put those in the Instant Pot just to like not cook all the way but just cook for about 15 minutes and then I'll put those with aluminum foil inside of 
the oven with the Brussels sprouts. So now I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and I'm gonna do something similar with the shrimp. So here is the shrimp and asparagus and I will just toss this in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes. So as I was preparing the asparagus, the turkey burgers are now done cooking for the 15 minutes. They still will need to cook a little bit longer, but I am putting those in the oven with Brussels sprouts. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing with that. It looks like and as you can see whenever we go to eat them they're already in perfect little portion sizes so i'm gonna throw this in the oven to cook with the asparagus and shrimp all right guys so it's currently 258 so i've been cooking for like an hour and a half i could have had this done earlier but i took a small break in between to get some more things done but i'm going to show you guys what the chicken and stuffed peppers look like so here are the stuffed peppers we're both looking at them to, for the first time together so, oh my gosh, that looks so yummy. Ooh, yum, yum. And then I'll also add like some salsa on top and maybe a little bit of sour cream when I prepare it. And then the chicken, let's see. I took this up, I started to take it off, but I was like, I should grab the camera. Oh, that looks so good. That looks so good, oh my gosh. So if you guys are anything like me, what keeps me from meal prepping is time. So as you can see here in today's video, basically I got all of this done like in under two hours. So I'm really proud of that. Um, like I said, it's been like an hour and almost, not quite, an hour and 30 minutes. So I'm just waiting for the asparagus and shrimp and all that stuff to finish, which it should be done in like 20 minutes. Um, and then, oh, just so you know, so like, for instance, if you're adding in food for your family, you can always do like some rice. You can bulk cook rice or you can bulk cook like noodles or things like that. But for this week, I've already shared with you guys that I'm doing intermittent fasting and I am just trying to be a little bit more aware of what I'm eating because I do want to get rid of some of the fluff. And I even saw like in, last, in the last video, I can tell for myself like that my face is more puffy which probably means I'm not only, I'm not only did I gain like the additional 2.6 pounds, but I'm also carrying more fluid. So I'm trying to drink more water. For instance, with me with the cracked chicken, I'll probably have that with like some veggies or a salad and the same thing for the stuffed peppers. So I was just looking at, um, this video is not sponsored, but I'm currently using the Zero app. And it says that, so, I'm trying to do 16-8 as far as fasting goes, but honestly, I'm really trying to keep my eating window in like a six hour period. My window has been open for three hours and 19 minutes. So I cannot tell you guys how excited I am that I will be able to not only work out, but also eat dinner before my window closes. That makes me pretty excited. All right guys, so I went ahead and changed into workout clothes because I still gotta go work out um, after I finish dinner. But because I have a short eating window, um, I'm going to eat and then let my food digest for a little bit and then I'm going out for a walk. So I wanted to show you what I've made, everything is done. So here we have the turkey burgers with Brussels sprouts and there are four servings of that. And then here, the cracked chicken, which I showed you guys before, along with the stuffed peppers. This is, there's a lot of servings in there, and same for these. And then here, the shrimp with asparagus, and there's four servings of that. I wanna show you guys what my dinner looks like tonight, because I'm about to eat. Mm-hmm, this is so good. Mm. <clears throat> so good thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye guys